everyone, today I will show you the basic technique how to composite photo in game is the color matching. Let's get start. As you see I have the image already in selected. Let's move it to another background, go to file, open and choose this background. Just click convert and move it to here. Direct. Place it on here. To see what happened in this entire color, create new layer and name it color matcher. Hit OK. Place it on the top and fill it with the 30 to 80% gray color. In order to do that, let's open up the Inkscape. Alright, make some object, example the rectangle. And you can see in this Inkscape color swatch, this is the percentage of the gray color. Let's make it by 30%. You can try with 40, 50 to 80%. And to get the color code, let's open up this fill and stroke. This is the color code. Let's copy it and move to game. Delete this to last digit because the game support the hex color since the Inkscape still RGBA. Okay, now this is the 30% of gray color and fill it with bucket tool. And change the layer mode into luminance. In this entire images, you see it's dominant with the cyan color. Let's make this subject color more match with the background. Select the subject, go to color, curves, and in this value channel, you can drop down to red. If you make it positive, it become red, and negative, it cyan. And so, make the cyan color to more match. And for the green, negative is the magenta. Last for the blue, the negative is the yellow. We want to make it more blue, so just increase it. Then hit OK. See the result by turning off this visibility. Subject more match with the background. OK, create new layer and name it shadow. Go to brush tool, swap it with black brush, and increase the Expect ratio to make the brush pins like this and brush it. Reduce the opacity. Next, add the glow, create new layer and name it glow. Place it on the top of the subject. Glow is one of the key in photo manipulation. It creates a different change to make the subject more blend with the background. Okay, let's do this. Right click, all part of selection. While in selection, in the glow layer, change the layer mode into overlay. The aspect ratio, make it a zero. You see the pink neon come from here, so make the pink color with the drop also. Like this, brush it to the object to make the right reflection. And this blue neon chrome from here, let's make it as blue neon. So, in this color, really nice. Let's add more glow to the background. Create new layer and name it glow for background. Change it to white color and change the layer mode to overlay. And brush it to entire the likes. Reduce the opacity. Make some of part darker. Let's create new layer and name it shadow overlay. Hit OK. Change the mode into overlay. Same method with the glow. Right click. I'll part to selection. While in selection, go to this 
go to this header overlay layer and brush it. And turn down the opacity. All set. Now the final step is adjust the entire image. To do that, right click on the top of layer and choose this new layer from visible. So what it does, it's generate all of the visible layer become this one layer, right? Now you can tweak it in the color, you can play with the color brands, color temperature, hue and saturation and many more here. So let's try that. Let's try one more with the common serial photo manipulation style. Just close it. Let me show you fast. Go to file, open, and choose this island. Add layer mask to change the sky. Okay. And take this scale layer. Go to file, open this layer, and choose this sky. Place it on the bottom, then scale it up. Okay. Adjust the curves, go to color curves and make it darker. Let's make the color major layer, create new layer and name it. Alright, change it to the gray color. Just choose the 30% gray that we made before and fill it and change it to luminance. The ground not really good so let's match it. Go to color, curves and you can adjust the red, the green and the blue. Let's see the result. Looking good. Now add the subject, go to file, open this layer and just this running man. Alright, scale it down. Place it on here. Turn on the color major visibility to see what happened in the color. Add edges it. Go to color, curves. Let's see the result. Really good. Now make some realistic shadow. Duplicate this running man and let's rename it shadow. With the perspective tool. Drag it bottom. Because the light come from here, the shadow must be here. Right click all part of selection and fill it with the black color okay now let's make a uh, blur Close it a little and reduce the opacity around this add the glow name it glows right click on part of selection and try with the Yellow is color. Change layer into overlay. Then brush it. Add some effect. Go to file. Open this layer and just this dust. And scale it up. Place it behind the running man. Place it on here. Okay. 
let's duplicate the running man make it make it larger then add layer mask with the black and white color just drag the gradient okay place it on behind and reduce the opacity last thing add some vignette effect create new layer and name it vignette go to filter like in shadow just this vignette okay turn down the radius not too much run here add more with brush tool increase the size and reduce the hardness you can see the color is matching the ground color match with the sky color and the surrounding man match with the this blue sky color that make the color is good match that's all i hope you learned something and make some improvement with game i think the best way to do it to use your own side first then if you feel the color miss try to correct the color with this method i tried this technique with most all of image and not 100 percent words but it's better thanks for watching i'm zakay from zakay design create something good today